All right, so we got everyone. So let's get started. But let's start the meeting off. And good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Let's start the meeting off right today. You know what? Last week was a fantastic week for us. First, you know, we started off with the 400 North Board with Kimberly Yates, number one in units and dollars. Uh, by far. Uh, I mean, yeah, a little bit had to leave by about $10 million. Uh, Tamara came in first for new homes for units and sales. And then I believe we had seven that were actually there that were in the Million Dollar Club. You know, we actually had 12 people. So then we roll into Neymar, and lo and behold, there's a young lady here we need to give a standing ovation for that was realtor. <laughs> so, she did us proud. We hated the music. Uh, you know what? I have to tell you, Mr. Swanson left going on vacation. Very proud of you guys. And I tell you what, that's something to be said. We sort of rock two boards in a week. Uh, I don't know that it gets any better than that. So with that... What better way to start a meeting? And I will tell you, Mr. Swanson, uh, thank goodness, he was emailing me nonstop Saturday. Then yesterday I started getting the text that said, hey, good news, I bought an international phone service. So, uh, you know, I, so I'll leave out some of the words that I replied to him. Um, but uh, we're not communicating from this point. Because I said, go have a vacation, we're fine, have a good time. So, and here's even better news, Serena. So, don't act like you don't know. I don't. You will. <laughs> so, last month, uh, Mr. Swanson's wringing his hands going, where's the business, where's the business, where's the business? Uh, we were down last month versus previous year. Our only down month in 39 months. Ooh, wow. But guess what happens when the sun shines? Uh, how many pendings did we get in just from Thursday to Friday? Uh, well, here's what I'll tell you. Uh, we're back on track. We're on track for our numbers for this year. And in a two-day window, we got in 47 pending transactions. In the last seven days, there have been 83. So I believe people pulled the piece of wet burlap off their head and said, the sun does shine in Georgia, although you wouldn't know it this week. It's going to rain all week. So because I'll tell you, you know, the whole eastern seaboard realogy was um, doing like an emergency survey last week going, where do you think your business has gone? What's happened? We seem to be falling apart. You want to go, uh, who would go out? Yeah. Who's going out in Boston in six yeah. feet of snow <laughs> to dig their way to a house you couldn't see? So, you know what? Weather does affect things. So I'm hoping it looks like it's going to rain Saturday, but it'll be pretty Sunday. So, you know, surely to goodness, we're over ice. I think everyone stayed home, laid out of work, laid out of school. Drink a little bit on the food, so now it's time to get to work. So with that, we'll turn it over to the ladies of DR Horton. We're glad to have you here, and thank you for breakfast. So y'all are not a shy group. I'm going to let you introduce yourself. I'm here to talk about new home units and sales. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Thank you very much for allowing us to do this morning and speak to you. And I'll try and speak a little bit slower. A couple of you have gone through Southern. And so um, we can get it. And uh, so as the Nazi operator, um, I'd like to welcome you to Dia Horton. And we have some of our uh, communities represented today. I'm representing Pleasant Manor Estate which is a hop, step and a jump away from you. There's a heartache of side-entry garages, unbelievable amenities, and enveloped by the 25-foot buffer zone, 15 acres of natural land places throughout the community that is owned and maintained by the community. Matt, Liberty, West Versailles, really could have 
the assistant principal of West Versailles living in our community. How good is that? <laughs> so we have a number, we have five homes that your, any of your buyers can move into in three weeks if they'd like. And we have on those homes a $20,000 package, 5,000 in closing costs, 7,500 has been taken off the price and there's another 7,500 that they can use in options or again take off the price because I have that much off, that many options in the home. But the great thing about it is all you have to do is bring new buyers and then the second thing you have to do is turn up to closing. I will make it so easy for you and I think you all deserve an easy, one easy sale at least a year. So please come along, I will work around you, I work, you can call me seven days a week, I'm there for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we just opened up a new community uh, south for Scythe, um, Vickery Creek School System, and it's just a couple of miles away from the Vickery Village. It's on the corner of Campground and Bentley Road, West Oaks. Now this is going to be a very hot neighborhood. We're going to fill a niche that's very highly needed in Forsyth with one level living, ranches on basements, and two-story master down. So we all know how hard those are to find. We all know how many folks are moving to Forsyth that would like that. Uh, we start in the 280s, and that'll, that'll be my model, which is really gorgeous so i need to see everybody out there previewing that's open i'm sitting in the model <laughs> west oaks and i'm going to drop some flyers off i promptly left them at the office when i was moving in corner of bitly and campground yeah and we have we are in uh, fmls we've got Two master on main basements, one ranch basement that can be ready no later than April, May. And then I've got two more ranch plans on the way that we're building. Um, the master up section will have 115. The master down section will have 88 homes. We have pool, clubhouse, bocce ball, pickleball. You know what that is? Pickleball is like a small tennis court. Kind of the, the new paddle ball over a small tennis court. Kids are so gonna love it. Bocce ball, great beer drinking game. We all love that one. Uh, okay, bocce ball, beer drinking game. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fine. Done. Those will be ready. Um, some we're ready for summer next year. Uh, so we've got two models. I'm working on the master up. I uh, should be sitting there in a couple of months. So I'm in the master down model now. Um, please come and see me, and I'm going to drop some flyers off for everyone. About a quarter. I've got a couple that are 30, 70 feet wide master down and 80 feet wide in the master up. And we've got wow. some nice plans, tons of included features. Um, been waiting on this one for about eight months. Square footage. Square footage for the master up will be anywhere from 3250 um, to 4300 almost with structural options. And those are going to start in the 340s starting price. Mm -hmm. We go anywhere from 2230 starting out. That one can go up to 2700. And then our largest master on main is 3300. Five bedroom, three and a half bath with a huge bonus room. <coughs> so uh, so the McDaniel I have is three ninety five, but it's stocked with lots of upgrades. That'll be ready April, and then um, the thirty three hundred is three eighty five. So. Not bad. I'm like, well, I'm having to have a little planned uh, frivolity trip. <laughs> yeah. And I will be having a, um, I'll be having an open house for everyone on a Tuesday when you guys have a meeting. And we're going to have a big kickoff grand opening as soon as the other model gets ready. Everybody excited about ranches? Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> 
Good morning, everyone. And again, I'd also like to thank you for inviting us. I'm Ann Barranco, and I'm over at Pinehurst. And Pinehurst is located off of Aaron Sosby and Bethel View. And we're an intimate little community of 50 homes. We started there in July, and we've got about 30 lots still available to pick from. As far as standing inventory, we've got five standing inventory. And our inventory, they've been reduced to sell. They're about 20000 off. They get 5000 in closing costs without preferred lender. They get 5000 in options. And then for our realtors, there's a $1,500 bonus on anything that we can close by the 20, 28th, right, guys? The 28th of April. So uh, we have a ranch, a Sebastian ranch that's available now. We have, uh, we offer, my decorated model is a beautiful, beautiful Ashley, which is a master down with an optional guest bedroom down and an optional uh, media room. It uh, could be a four or five bedroom home. Uh, we can build that for you. Um, we are a swim community with a uh, top lot and an outdoor grilling and um, outdoor fireplace area. Um, 50 homes. Anybody have any questions about what we're offering over there? Okay, well, come and see us. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Elaine Stevens, I'm at Chadwick, which is right around the corner from you. Uh, you have our flyer here. And at Chadwick, it's D.R. Horton's signature series of homes. So they're four sided brick, have a lot of upgrades that we normally be upgrades as <coughs> um, Just a mile away from all the schools that are Shadow Point, Piney Grove, and South Forsyth. We also have a walking path for our uh, students and faculty who live at Cheswick that are at Pinecrest Academy. So three drawing points. Um, but we currently have five homes. One is not on basement, four are on basement. And those have had reduced pricing. And then your buyer would get 25000 if they're closing in April to use for closing costs and op options in the house. And for you, you would have a $2,500 bonus on those homes. We're nearing the end of phase two. We'll be opening phase three pretty soon. So I'm keeping the waiting list for those wanting in phase three. But uh, stop by and see us. And is phase three your last day? That will be the last day. And how many home sites? We'll have a total of 132. We've wow. sold 60 so far. And uh, then we have 10 homes under construction of, of some sort. So, wow. Um, great neighborhood. We have a clubhouse. Um, <coughs> Tennis courts, playground, pool, a small lake in the neighborhood, sidewalks on both sides, gorgeous neighborhood. So stop by and see us, okay? Just on Major's Roadies. And now we'll quickly do these drawers. I'll get the other one. Okay. Okay. Okay.
if anybody wants to come to WCR on Thursday, Peter Pasternak is going to be speaking about how to build your business with LinkedIn. should be really, really great. Get the news if you want to go. And uh, Mr. Salisbury, do you have any words of wisdom other than you'd like for us to keep a little more organized calendar? No, just uh, next week we're going to have that uh, ring over the new seven statements coming up on the first. We're supposed to have it today, but uh, we got kind of jumbled up there. But uh, next week we're going to do that. Plan on being here. And uh, Kim, any words of wisdom? Just glad to be here today. Appreciate all the referrals lately. Our, our business is up. 34 percent so far this year nice. so that's uh that's a good indicator i think uh, looking forward to spring <laughs> so and everyone know what we're doing after the meeting what we're doing austin baby shower <laughs> four he looks so excited <laughs> four uh-huh so here's what we're going to do it determines how many presents you get we're going to have you put a diaper on a couple of things and time <laughs> Yeah, you need to change your more loves than you know. <laughs> okay, so I need to say thank you to someone because honestly, I believe I'm plagued with real value later. Yeah, that's why I sent y'all the email going, okay, good grief. Are they ever going to show up? You know, and one's getting a passport, one's on a sabbatical, and one's on vacation. It's just like, okay, you know what? Not only can I not get the date right, the name right, and, I, you know, obviously, I, I need to read my own emails a little better. Um, what's our satisfaction program called? It's called, uh, yeah, no one called it. Uh, real satisfied. Yeah, real. it's real satisfied. Uh, I believe just. I sent it out as just satisfied. Uh, <laughs> that's what my grandmother always said to me. So, uh, yeah, somehow I managed to type that in there. And Amanda goes, what is that? <laughs> so, Amanda, thank you very much. You know, this young lady drives her business off of these ratings. Um, so, one, you know, there's a little bit of criteria. You have to treat your customers well to want to use this program. So, I hope everyone would first qualify for that benchmark. So, we appreciate you stepping up. And uh, as I said, uh, yikes, I need a rally cat. Can you, because we were going to do this next week. So, I am appreciative. Thank you. The floor is yours. Well, 910 this morning, I realized I had the whole thing in publisher, not PowerPoint. <laughs> Hadn't gotten in the shower yet, had a lot of things going on, so I'm scurrying, scurrying, and hurrying, and recreating the whole program in 20 minutes. So, um, Real Satisfied is very new to our company. And but I guess about a little over three years ago, I had been in real estate and had spent most of my career in management. And I was the person who could just wave a wand and fix things. So that was always great. I was a sales manager. I did marketing. I had my own consulting firm. I worked mostly with builders. And um, that was kind of a great place to be. And I got kind of disenchanted after getting everyone through the harsh market that we had had. And I said to Terry, I'm going to go get my license. And I'm going to start selling. And he was like, you are crazy. I said, how hard can it be? I, I hire agents, I train them, I put them on site, I fill in for them. When I fill in for them, I get to sell houses. I, it's so much fun. I love it. I've been doing it for 30 years. Um, I've known Lynn for 30 years probably or more. Um, so I started selling and I put my business plan together and I had a marketing plan and because that's how I think and that's how I do everything. And I went to Terry and I said, this is what I'm going to do. And he said, all right, well, good luck with that. And he kind of Googled at me. I had no idea what I was getting into. And I thought I was a super smart person. I've got it. I've been doing real estate my whole life. How hard can it be? Well, then I had to start dealing with Joe Public. And that was a whole new arena for me. And Terry said some very wise things to me very early on. He was like, Amanda, people won't care what you know if they, if they don't like you. You've got to be likable. I was like, whoa, good luck with me. <laughs> you know, because... I, again, spent my whole life in, in management, so I really had to shift who I was. I really had to start kind of caring about people, which was, you know, <laughs> and, you know, it just, I really had to shift what I was doing. So I, I employed what I had done for these builders all these years, which was, I'll do anything, you know, anything to make it right, anything to make it work. 
that was how I'd always done my business. But when I started dealing with people and the couples are fighting in front of me and you know wanting to put on the gloves, and I'm like, guys, I'm really uncomfortable. Y'all talk. I'll be back in five minutes. Um, so it was just very different for me. Where I thought I would get my business wasn't at all where I got my business. So I kept revamping my business plan as I went along. It's been three years from this month. I guess I've closed 14 million, so I did something right along the way. And I'm running another business at the same time. And a single mom. So if I can do it, you can do it. And I've spent time with some of you like Swada and Sarah and Tamara and just different people along the way and have helped you with your marketing and things like that. And I kind of don't have time for that anymore. So I'm glad I get the opportunity to talk to you as a group. I love Century 21. I think we've got some great tools. Some of them get revamped often, and this is one of them. Um, and staying ahead of the marketing game is really hard when things are changing so often. You just get used to something and whoop, it's all different again. So let's just talk about surveys and how to boost your business and what you can kind of do to help yourself. Because really, that's what it's all about. What other people say about you is none of your business. Everybody gossips. It's not a good thing. It's a very evil thing. But what your clients say about you is 100% of your business, and it needs to matter every day. Oops. Let's see. Austin. I feel like Terry up here. <laughs> Malfunction. So how can we turn your clients into raving fans and boost your business? Let's give them something to talk about, and that's you. A testimonial goes a long way, and I see it on all people's different websites or marketing pieces. It means a lot when someone, one person just needs to say something good about you, and you can take that and leverage it in so many different ways. I'm going to show you the back end and kind of how it looks and how it works. I'm going to talk to you about some marketing ideas. If you just walk away with one or two things today, that's a win to you and to me because I was able to help you in some way. I wonder if I tap this, will it go? I think so. Look at you. I'm better than I know. I'm kidding. <laughs> so come with me on a journey as we explore Real Satisfied. It's a Century 21 tool, but it's done by a third party, which makes it even better. And I'm going to show you why. This will change how you see your business and how your future clients will too. If I put something like that on my marketing piece, it's pretty generic, right? I mean, yay, you're number one. You put a little banner on. I've done all kinds of things like that for builders over the years saying that they're great. But if you see that, what does that tell you? It kind of looks like a Heinz ketchup bottle, but it's green. Um, but what does that tell you? You must have some data. It's credibility. It's third-party credibility. So it doesn't get any better than that. And what I love about this new system is that it gives us so much great information so we can improve our business. We can look at ourselves with really good um, glasses and say, what can I do to make myself better? And it gives you pieces and parts that you can really use in your marketing without reinventing any wheels. How do these surveys go out? How am my people going to know to fill out a survey about me? It really is super easy. I'm going to show you how things look so you kind of get acclimated to them. But the cool thing is, we get a sales information sheet, and if we fill that out, they send us our little sheet, shows us how much money we're going to make and all that kind of stuff. You want to fill that sheet out because what you want to show is the email address of your client. You're going to fill out the buyer side. You're going to fill out the seller side. There's a little box, and you're going to see it in just a second. All you got to do is check that box and have a correct email address, and guess what? Your people are going to get your survey. The old system we had, which was quality service satisfaction, quality survey satisfaction, it would go out like a month later, six weeks, eight weeks later. People were like, Amanda who? You know, Swata who? Uh, they can't even remember you. All they can remember is how many more boxes they still have to unpack. So what I love about this, though, is it goes out within about 48 hours. And we're going to talk about the timing of everything. But look at this great little piece. I mean, this was just one of them. It just started this year. So if you haven't seen your surveys and you haven't seen, has anyone seen an email saying your survey's gone out? Great. And so, how many have just clicked delete? Or your survey was returned? Because we're at about 70% on email addresses getting turned in with your pending. When it goes pending, it goes into our system at corporate, which is Crest. That navigates everything for us forever. Do it up front. Don't wait to do it later. 
try to have both parties um, email addresses because we can survey both of the parties. You're going to treat everybody equitably and fairly, so they're all going to have something good to say about you. But this is going to become a cool piece I'm going to use in some different things. I'm going to show you that in just a second. But again, that looks super credible. I didn't retype it. I didn't reword it. It is what this person said about me. And I guarantee you, if you treat people right, they will have no problem filling out a survey. How many people go through Chick-fil-A that says if you want a free biscuit or something, fill out this survey and you'll get a free chicken sandwich. I fill out that survey because my son will get a free chicken sandwich. He gets excited about that. You help these people with their biggest purchase of a lifetime. Surely they can take five minutes and fill out this survey. That's really all the time that it takes. So on your sales information sheet, this is it right here, an email, yes or no. If you're having a bad situation from the get-go, you might want to just check no. You know what I mean? Honestly, not everyone's going to love you. And um, I think Brian Buffini says it best, and I'm going to use a bad word. If your client's a a-hole, there's a fair chance that they really are. You're not going to bring them around, and their friends are too. <laughs> so um, I love Brian Buffini. He kind of just calls it like it is. <laughs> Let's talk about how all this looks and how it comes to you. So you're going to get an email, and you're going to get a series of emails as you go through this process. So you are super informed every step of the way. I realized that a couple of mine weren't going out because I didn't see an email. So I called into corporate and said, hey, guys, where's this? The email had just not gotten into Crest, okay? Well, they, the only people that can do that now is, corp, is, our, is our group, our management. Okay, used to in quality service satisfactions, we could go in and re put in email addresses because people change their email addresses and things like that. We could do that ourselves, we can't do that anymore. We have no control over that. But again, it's going to make it super easy for you. So it says it'll send you one saying that it's going out, and as soon as they complete it, it sends it to you again. The great news is if you're worried for some reason or it says something bad. You get to review and approve. You get to approve what they said. Okay? So you can send them a, you can send them a, a pardon? Can you edit? No. <laughs> it is concrete. There's no way to edit anything in there. But you can thank them with a Starbucks gift card. I always shoot them a text or shoot them an email and just say, thank you so much for taking the time. It really means a lot to me. Um, and I never thought I'd work in an industry where surveys really mattered, but they do. I mean, people will Google you right away when they're trying to research you and figure out who you are, and other agents will too. We'll talk about that in a second. The seller information sheet that you're referring to, is that one, one on it's the- Every deal that comes through the door has that sheet. Okay. Or you don't get paid. Even the new, the new There are two forms. Yeah. There are two forms. And well, I printed it out and they I changed it. Right. They changed it. This is it. This is all you fill out now. Okay. Well, and how you get paid? It's you don't have a, a sales processing form. Yeah. And, and you don't fill out a get paid form anymore either. So it's a very simple process, and we'll get that over to you. So what do, all does this do to me? It gives me this little testimonial. Great, I can use it in my marketing. But guess what? With the click of a button, once you approve your survey, it can go to your Facebook, your Twitter, or your whatever you want to call it, because I love how people misinterpret Twitter. Um, and it goes to Realtor.com. Hooray. That, to me, is kind of like the best thing. I will tell you that over the years, I spend money on marketing. Yes, I do. But I get my best business from Realtor.com because my first name begins with an A. And <laughs> when they start looking, it goes alphabetically first, right? So Amanda pops up pretty quickly. And the more surveys and things like that that you have about yourself, trust me, you are going to see organically yourself going higher and higher on a generic search. Realtors incoming, you know, all those types of things. When people search that, you're going to boost forward. I got a call yesterday from a crazy guy wanting a farm with this, this, this. I'm like, that sounds great. What's your budget? He goes, I want to rent it. I wanted to hang up the phone. But anyway, I digress. So you can also create a PDF folder. So there are many things that you can do with this. It's really unlimited. But what I wanted to do today was to just really keep it simple, stupid. Because there we go. So you'll get three attachments in your email. One will be that little green thing that you can use, and it's a little file that you can pop on all your marketing. One will be this, which is your testimonial. Just there it is for you. And the other is the survey itself. 
well, I'm going to show you the survey. So hold on, I'm getting ahead of myself. What all does this monitor? It looks at demographics. It knows the age of your client. I mean, it looks at so many different things that are really cool that really help you wrap your head around. So as you're doing that business plan, you know who you work for. You know who you want to plan to work for in the future because you're probably going to get some more of that same buyer or seller. Where the marketing source? How did they find you? Sales information, the appraisal, how, was that, how did that play into a factor of importance? When you start to see how all these things measure up, it really kind of gives you a way of talking when you're on that listing presentation to say, I get it. Appraisal is a really important part of the equation. So how do we make sure that the appraisal comes in? Well, guess what? I'm going to prepare a very diligent packet for the appraiser and I'm going to make sure that your property comes into the best of my ability to value. And if it doesn't, for some odd reason, we're going to dispute it. I mean, there's so many different things that you can know. About Does anyone time. ever have an appraisal issue? <laughs> <laughs> yep. And I recently had one and it missed by 20 grand. And it really was kind of mind blowing. We simply switched lenders and it appraised. And I equipped that appraiser and I educated him on that house as very best I could. And we appraised. So again, it's all about how you're going to protect your client, how you're going to take care of them. When you do all of those things, they all they want to do is sing your praises. So very exciting. And of course, this last thing is they get down to the recommendation and testimonial. What you want to make sure they say at the end of the day is, would you recommend this person? Yes, I would. Okay. We got a light touch there. What does the survey look like? This is it. It's three pages long. It doesn't take them long to fill it out. And it starts measuring everything really quickly. You know, and it tells you exactly what was important for this person. Was commission important? How many times do people try to negotiate your commission? A lot? Yes. Guess what? In all the surveys I've gotten done, it's not important to them. But they sure will beat you up over it. Now, once it's done, it's not important. Right. <laughs> so, again, here are all the things. Broker commission wasn't that important. Um, recommendation from friend or relative. He found me on the Internet. Um, very generically, um, had dealt with the builder, per, the broker previously. No, but then here's all the things about how satisfied they got. And again, this is page three and it gets down to the testimonial. So you get to see all this. It's a PDF file for you to keep. As I got started doing all this stuff with Joe Consumer, who may not always love me, I realized that I would have bad days, and I like Michelle Miles because she tells me she fires herself about once a week, and I do about every other week. But I started what is called a kudos file. That day where you feel like you're in the crapper, <laughs> and you just can't get out, and everybody hates you, and you just did something really stupid, and woe is me. I love my kudos file because it's where I keep all my surveys, all my notes from people, you know, I can just kind of have a bad day, but I can go through this and look at all the things, the nice things that people said to me and about me. And now I kind of really parlay that into more professionally, how I'm going to market my business. The five characteristics that, bu that buyer's looking for, or your seller, they want honesty. You, they want you to be familiar with the area, follow through organization, and a good listener. All these things shine in that survey. You are doing all these things on a continuous basis, guess what? They're going to love you. So now I wanted to take a minute and kind of take you into the site, and hopefully I can do that. I may need Austin, who's now gone. Um, we can do that. He's in there with his I think I can do it. It's cute. Just go to the bottom. <laughs> there we go. Help, help me, help me. Okay. So let's go to realtor.com and just see what that looks like as you've had the survey completed for yourself. I think I'm okay right now. Okay, so I want to go into realtor.com. Can you help me with that? You're there. And then when it comes up, we don't want the continue to the side. There we go. Uh, find realtors. Excuse my mouse. And then type in my name right here under name, Amanda, yeah, Amanda Stays. And search. Is it going? Mm -hmm. 
Sorry. It looks like it's safe. It's, it's not going. Oh, use your mouse. We're no longer connected to the internet. Um, do you want to get a Chrome? So anyway, when you go onto your site, and remember that's where I've been getting most of the generic leads, and there's never been a testimonial there. It's always had my bio with different information. Um, but if you cruise down to the bottom of the page, that's where all your testimonials are. And they all come from real satisfied, and they say real satisfied. So they're giving that third party credibility again. <laughs> so I don't think you've approved them. Pardon? Is this your century 21? No, this is realtor.com. Okay. okay, so if we scroll all the way down, all right, keep going. Houses, houses, houses for sale or rent. Okay, so here we go. So this is what it looks like. What Joe Public is seeing about me is all these different recommendations. <laughs> So isn't that cool? I didn't pay any money for it. It took me no time at all. Yes. What, what are realtors that don't have the service do? They must be able to post their own recommendations, right? Sure. So can they, we, no, they have to get their clients have to go in and do it. Zillow, so, truly, um, any website you cannot put your own testimonials on, only on your own web page. But you can ask your clients. The thing that I have found is. If I ask them to do it on Trulia, then I got to ask them to do it again on Zillow. Then I got it. And I'm very uncomfortable with that. I mean, I don't have a problem with this survey. And I will tell you, nine times out of ten, I don't even tell them it's coming. You know, sometimes you're sitting at the closing table and the lender will have a survey or the builder will have a survey that they painted out. And I'll say, Are you going to send me one? I'm like, Well, I'm not going to, but my company will. So that's this. Now let me go up here real quick. If I just type in my name, guess what the first thing that comes up is? My rating. Okay? So it will only build over time. And as you get more and more surveys, we're new, we're in infancy in this program. But I guarantee you, if you start to use this, you will see great results. I'm going to go on the Century 21 site, but I, I know that might take me a minute to get loaded up. Um, you know what? One thing I want you guys to understand, I'm sure all of you have sort of been paying attention. What's going on with syndicated listing sites? Have y'all been getting emails from Zillow going, hey, you know your listings, do this, do that. Harvest <laughs> is dropping, Trulia. Who's going to feed to the syndicated sites? As far as all this is really going to wash out. I don't know, but I will tell you there's two things that have happened probably in the last six months that probably mean more to you than anything. You know, and I don't mean this offensively for anyone, but probably if you were to dial back a year ago, Realtor.com tended to be that 50 and older buyer. Zillow and Trulia tended to be that 50 and younger. Uh, you probably, you know, the, you know, when they talk about the cues or the data where you want people looking, that 25 to 32 year old is driven to Zillow. You know, they think that rules the world. Now, what's going to end up happening from all of that? You know, and if, and if, has anyone really noticed what's happened with Realtor.com? They're making a big push. Mm -hmm. Well, and here's what I'm going to tell you, and I probably should have shown you all the dashboard. Our views on Realtor.com alone in the last quarter were up 36%. Um, you know, Realtor.com's probably got the best relationship with the syndicators being MLS, FMLS. They're still partnered with Hublist. And I'll tell you what's going on in some cities. Um, if you live in, you might know anyone living in Charlotte. Uh, ask them to find a home in Charlotte listed on Zillow. Because right now, five of the largest brokers in Charlotte are on a Zillow boycott. They don't use Zillow. For it to be listed, an agent has to, one, have written permission, have it notarized because of um, estimates not being correct. Now, 
Is it going to last long term? No. Is anyone going to shoot themselves in the foot continually? No. But how is all this going to wash out? One thing that really has happened, allrealtor.com has done is get stronger and stronger, build better relationships. And I'll tell you, you're spending a fortune trying to satisfy all the, you know, personally, I'm just giving you some personal opinion. You know, right now, realtor.com pays for the feeds from whatever MLS they're getting. Zillow pays nothing. Nor does Trulia, nor do most of the syndicated type. My guess is you'll see some merging, and you know, where people, you know, there's 250 portals that you go to. My guess is it's going to get down to a handful, and people are going to pay local listing boards to get those syndicated feeds. But right now, and it may be two or three years, uh, right now, who's the winner? Realtor.com. Well, let me just say this too. I'm putting together a cheat sheet for you guys between now and the next sales meeting, and that is kind of where to spend your time, kind of thing. I did a 60 day plan a couple of years ago when I was teaching some courses here. But just like truly, a dog called their blogs. I mean, if you were blogging on truly like a champ to be a whatever, you know what? All your blogs went away. <laughs> um, so I kind of want us all to focus because I think it's so important as, as, as a group. We're all Century 21. Who we are, who you are, how you run your business is just as important as how I run my business because we're all related. <laughs> and Lewis and I had a really good conversation a couple weeks ago about, or last week, you know, building realtor rapport and relations is just as important as any other thing that you do. Because when I know what Sarah's listening, I know that I'm not going to have a battle. I know if I'm working with Lynn, I know how that's going to go. Um, so we have to work together, and I want everyone to use the tools as well as they can because it will help your business. Um, so let's go into the Century 21 site, which by the way, just changed again, okay? So you've got all your survey stuff from 2014, and now we've got Real Satisfied. Let's go in and just kind of see real quick how that looks. I'm gonna wrap this up real quick so I don't keep you guys long. Yep. Um, uh, we thought you were going to 1.30. <laughs> okay, so look how cool and fun this is. So you can scroll down the page, or I hope I can. Let me see if I can get my mouse working with me. This mouse is very jittery. But look at that. I've got, I turned these buttons on. When you go to your Century 20 site, turn these buttons on. Make sure that you've linked your page for your whatever to here so that your stuff automatically on each. I don't know my personal page, lock it when it's a page. I just put hide from my page. I can see it, but nobody else needs to see it unless it's something funny that I can put. Like this one client said that I actually helped them clean their house the day of closing. And it's a true story. I've done so much of that. I cannot even tell you. <laughs> but um, Isn't that what we do? it is what we do. Okay. I, and I had to go to closing in sweatpants because we literally got that far behind. My clothes were still on my bed when I got home. Okay. And it was a hoity-toity agent in Alpharetta where we were having the closing. I was so embarrassed, but I looked just, just like my clients. They were super happy. <laughs> but did depositing that commission check still feel the same? It felt exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> and even better, because I didn't have to take anything to the dry cleaner. And the people emailed me a week later. They're like, we are in the throes of doing everything, but we cannot thank you enough. And they bought me a gift, and it's, that's always embarrassing. And last week I had the other agent's client bought me a gift. Now wow. say that again. Wow. It's happened more fancy, than once. The fancy Alpharetta huh? um, No, this was a very fancy Alpharetta buyer who was very, you know, she was all that. And it was new construction, and she came in. Her home was 45 days away from completing, and she came in to do the des design selection meeting. And I said, everything's been chosen. Everything's been ordered. You can pick your carpet and the color of your floors. That's it. She walked in. She was about a foot taller than me, it felt like, anyway. And she said, today we're going to make a bunch of changes. I said, no, we're not. I said, today I'm going to show you everything that's remaining to go in your home. And I told your agent, these are the two things that you get to choose today. And she went. She was all cash, and she had money. She was so disappointed, and she sat down, and I said, look, I said, if there's a way that I can make something happen for you today, I'm going to do it. I'm not here just to tell you no. But you need to understand, I represent the builder. 
And this is where we are in the stage of construction on the home. And it's not a custom home, it's already been built. By the end of the meeting, I, you know, she told me her hot button. I'm like, let me see if I can make that work for you. We made it happen for her. She learned quickly that we can't do any more changes and that the home is the home. She was super happy. Her agent never showed up to much of anything or responded to our emails. And uh, at the walkthrough, he didn't show up again. And she pulled me aside. She goes, I have something for you in my car. Will you come with me? Because when she arrived, I was steam mopping her floor, the whole floor downstairs, because I wanted her home to be perfect when we walked it. She said, I cannot tell you how appreciative we are. I wanted to buy more, but this is what I bought you. It was a bag full of stuff that she had bought. She's an interior designer and it was all beautiful stuff. And I was like so embarrassed. I was like, oh my gosh, you're not supposed to buy me a gift. She goes, that's why I'm giving it to you today. At the closing, it was kind of like she kept slapping the other agent by going, Amanda did such a great job. <laughs> and I was like, you know, she took the time to write a really nice, thoughtful note. She's like, I can refer any business to you. If you need a testimonial, I will do that for you. And I didn't put her down on my sheet because I thought she was such a badass. Excuse my friend. <laughs> From the beginning, I thought, oh, she'd never, she's going to throw me under the bus. I wouldn't want her to survey me. But she would have, and she would have been a great person. So anyway, let's go back up to the top and see a little bit more. And then I'll be done after I talk about a couple. Of, your profile page. Da, 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 da. So you go into this. This just kind of gives you, you know, customer stuff. You can take this, you can copy and paste it, you can do all kinds of things with it. But again, people want to say good things about someone that actually gave them customer service. We live in a society of no one answers the phone anymore. Um, you know, you just don't get good customer service anymore. So I just want to show you a couple quick things I did. One house I had sold in four days and I had a hundred of these beautiful flyers printed up. And I said, oh good gosh, what am I going to do with my flyers? Well, I sent them to all the neighbors. There were 68 people living in the neighborhood. I made a little letter. I put the last testimonial from a person I actually sold for in that neighborhood. And I just kind of wrote about how I do my marketing. I hope my phone starts ringing soon. <laughs> it takes more than just one thing. So you got to keep on keeping on. This is what that survey looks like when you print it out. So keep it, put it in your little kudo file. You're going to need it one day. Um, postcards. I know y'all have seen Allie and there's a lot of different companies out there that do postcards, but I'm a huge, you know, I'm a huge proponent of postcards because again, it feels good. I got it in my mailbox. It's pretty, it shows success. And it also talks about my success too, you know, in terms of a realtor. And I always put that I've, you know, a top satisfaction. Maybe I'm not a top producer one month or two months or a quarter or for the year, but guess what? I can be trumps with my surveys and so forth. And Amanda, how many do you send to the same group? A lot. So <clears throat> you got your sphere of influence, which email, email, email every month. Don't find a way to email them. Don't just use all the canned stuff. I use our market leader stuff to do newsletters, um, roll your clocks backward, forward, whatever we're doing. I use real uh, uh, market leader for a lot of things I do and all that's going to change again, but there's some, I'll, I'll, again, I'll give you a cheat sheet, but there's some real easy things that you can do that don't cost you a dime. All this costs a little bit of money and I don't get as much results as I get from my free stuff. I just feel like all the time I got to be out there. So I did buy the cover for $2.99. I got a full page spread and guess what? It always says body service award. You know, this was 2013, 99% satisfaction rating. I just think that's important. And I know some people go, if they see a hundred percent, they're not going to believe it. Well, not a hundred percent, 99%. I got room for improvement. <laughs> so does anyone have any questions, comments? Let me ask the real question. Anyone have this turned on? I didn't know. I didn't know. Didn't know. Well, hopefully you will now. When they yeah. when they do the survey, mm -hmm. are the is the survey generating um, for them to approve for you to use it in print and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, you it, have to do that separately. No, it does ask them when they get to the end, are you okay with this being published? And okay. they say yes. And okay. I've had one person not give me a testimonial. It was a builder. I couldn't believe they even took the time to fill it out, but they did. So I was really excited about that. But they've all said yes. And these are people that are like this in terms of privacy. 
don't mind your, your full name. Now, in my testimonial sheet mm -hmm. that I use when I'm working with someone for the first time, I send them a little fact sheet about me, and I send them my little testimonial thing. Yeah. Um, and I just take these testimonials, and I just retype them, and I have them all done. But um, I send that out to them, and I just put, you know, Carrie and Brad as opposed to their full name. Is there an option to mail somebody a survey? Because I have some folks that have no technology at all. No, there's no. not. I mean, that's that's kind of the beauty of the beast. Is it, it's restricted because it's so secured and it's third party. Okay. But the good news is, is no one's going to monkey with it, and you can't falsify information. Okay. You can't choose not to publish something, though. <laughs> <laughs> I got a Robert question. How does this get an interface with Zap? Because that's going to be review two separate it, it is separate but i will tell you part of that has was redone to be complementary with that okay so there'll be two you'll do the stuff on zap and then this will keep going it, it, it'll keep it'll integrate right in with it it should be well and let's be realistic things are changing so fast i, I have to admit to you i kept thinking what is this satisfied thing i keep getting so, if y'all haven't picked up that uh, Amanda probably uses the tools that we offer better than any person in the building, including us. Um, so, she figured out her surveys weren't going out. Guess why? Uh, who knew I was the administrator? <laughs> <laughs> See, they say you're it. <laughs> yeah, I do. I, I'm all about using everything that I can, everything that's available to me. And I will. I promise to do a cheat sheet for y'all for next week that you can just get handed out to you so that you don't waste time doing senseless things that don't help build your business. Yes. Can you go back and um, so you can't put anything in that's It just starts from January because I've got two years worth of quality service satisfaction stuff that's been done and that's how I've gotten this past year I got the Pinnacle Award okay. from, the, from Century 21 but none of that can get incorporated into this. So, so when I have not? some that I have not closed yet, can I go back in and replace those sellers? Oh, yeah. Because obviously, yeah. I you didn't better. use the right one. Yeah. Even though this was here. Can I give her this? Just make sure that Katie gets, yeah. Just make sure Katie and those guys there it is. earmark it and say, please make sure this gets in the crest. And, and I'm going to have, Katie's going to email all you guys today. And she'll send the sheet out to you going, here's where you do it. Here's where you check. Okay. Anybody else have any questions? I promise this stuff works. It's not rocket science. I love getting to use that phrase all the time because there's a lot of things that aren't rocket science. Um, but do use it, and it will make a big difference in your business. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. So, so, you know what? There's one thing Amanda said over and over and over, and I hope you guys heard it. What does she keep adjusting? Her business, Her plan. business plan. In writing, I think we're the answer. Both. So there's something to be said about that. So approach it like a business, package it, and how she keeps packaging herself. So, what else are we gonna have in today? A baby shower and lunch. Yep. So, but uh, Miss Waters. Do you have anything I you'd like to share? I have tickets for um, our 30th annual Michael Cunning fundraiser. It's March 21st. I talked to a lot of y'all at the awards night. I have tickets today. And where else is it coming? Could you go for $50 for a night and see Van X, which laid it with Jim and Diamonds, a cater by Chef Kern, who's doing beef brisket and shrimp and breads in the hay. We have a Salad auction, I think Terry, Terry went last year to Costa Rica, and that was one of the trips that we had. That's back with a bunch of others on our salad auction and um, casino gambling. So I've got tickets today if anybody wants them. I'm sorry, Miss, what is this for? Um, it's our fundraiser extension. Fundraiser for Saudi Women's Club, which benefits all of the Protect County all of our different projects, schools, arts. Um, Food, pantries, and two of them, so there's all kinds of stuff, but it all stays local. And um, anyway, it's a fun night, and I think everybody that went last year, Robert included, is going to be returning this year. 
the plant. And it's at Three Chimneys Clubhouse, so that's really close. And um, so, anyway, I've got them today. I won't have any after today because we're really at our limit, I think, of what we've got from left to sell. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks. Anyone else? Any kind of announcements? Emotional outbursts? Y'all are pretty passive groups, Doug. I'll mold them into submission. So, well, let's take a potty break. Maybe we'll start early, Austin. Would that bother you? You know, uh, so we got pizza.